Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use custom fonts and HTML with your text view. To begin with, we have a sample Android project. Now, uh, let me go and drag a text view into the project. It's called large text. I'm going to replace this with a string resource. Let's go to values, strings.xml. And I'm going to create a string that says caption the lighter side this is the text we'll be using with our text view going back to the layout search for the text property and change to at the rate of string slash caption we have this caption let's go ahead and run this program Here it is, it says the lighter side. This is the default font uh, in Android 4.2. It is called as Roboto. We're going to use some other custom font and style this in a different way. Let's go back to the project. And from the assets folder, I'm going to create a new folder that is called as fonts. So we have this new folder. I have already copied a custom font. Now I'm going to paste it inside the fonts folder. Right click, go to paste. And when I expand this fonts folder, you can see we have a font that is called as evangeli.ttf. We're going to use this font on this text view. There are no XML attributes to use custom fonts, so we have to do it programmatically. We're going to give this an ID. Let's name this caption, click OK. So we're going to change the font of this text view from our code. We're going to do that by going to the source folder and go to the custom font activity.java. We have a text view that is named caption. Import text view. Now, caption is equal to find u by id r dot id dot caption and typecast it to text view. So now we have a reference to our text view. We're going to create a new font. There's a class called as typeface which allows us to create custom fonts. To do that, you're going to type typeface evangeli is equal to typeface dot create from asset. We're going to get the asset manager. You can do that by calling the get assets method. And for the path, we're going to use this path fonts slash evangeli.ttf I'm going to copy the file name let's go refactor rename since we have unsaved changes I'm being asked to save all those changes so I'm going to click on this checkbox and click OK so this is the font name let me right click and copy it so instead of hard coding the font right here using a string we are going to create a string resource where you are doing that because uh, in case if you have multiple activities and you are changing the font later you just have to change it from the strings.xml you don't have to go to each and every activity and change the hard coded uh, path for your custom font so to make it convenient for us we are going to use a string resource instead let's go to strings.xml and create name is equal to typeface eventually and let's type the path here font slash evangeli.ttf you don't have to add assets because when you are accessing the assets folder you just have to give the path of its subfolders in this case it is fonts slash evangeli.ttf let's go back to our java code 
Now let's type get string uh, dot string dot typeface evangeli. So this statement creates a custom font that we have copied to our assets folder. Now we're going to set this font to our text view. We can do that by calling caption dot set typeface in name of the font typeface. That is the instance of the typeface, which is Evangeli. Save it. And let's go ahead and run this application. Go to the emulator. Here it is. We have the custom font here. So this is how you could use a custom font with your text view. This text could use a little more styling. We are going to make the and side a little more stronger and we're going to leave lighter as it is. So the will be a little bit stronger, lighter will remain as it is and side will be bold. To do that kind of formatting, Android allows you to use uh, HTML tags. So let's go ahead and uh, format this using HTML. Let's go back to strings.xml. This is the text that we would like to format. I'm going to use bold tag, B tag, which stands for bold. And B so This is how you format HTML. D is going to be in bold, so it is enclosed within the two bold tags. Lighter is going to remain as it is. And side is going to be bold. So we have enclosed it within the bold tags, which is bold B. You can also use strong, the strong tag, italics, emphasize. A subset of all the HTML tags is supported. Uh, but if you want to do more complex HTML formatting, then you might have to consider a web view instead of a text view. And this is not done yet. Uh, there is a little bit more things we have to do. You have to replace the starting bracket, which is the opening angled bracket, with the corresponding HTML entity, which is ampersand LT semicolon. So you have to replace all the opening tag with the HTML entity equivalent, which is ampersand LT semicolon. We're going to do that. So we are done. Let's go and take a look at the custom font.xml. You can see that uh, the text appears as it is along with the HTML tags. So if you want to use HTML formatting, you have to do that via code as well. Let's go back to custom font activity.java and we are going to format the text using Java code. To do that, we are going to format the text as HTML caption dot set text use html dot from html and again you have to get the string resource which is get string r dot string dot caption let's go ahead and run this program once again run here you go now the and side appears bold and lighter is left as it is. So this is how you use HTML to format your text in a text view. One important thing that you have to remember is if you want to use a custom font or if you want to use HTML for formatting your text, then it has to be done programmatically. It is currently not possible to do that from our XML. Thank you.